Hey Stampers, this is Joanne from the Rock Paper Scissors Studio and I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how to make this cute card or one like it. Yours doesn't have to be a Christmas card, but this card has a binding um, fold which means that part of this is glued down and when you open it up it has this wonderful pop-up detail with a piece of DSP inside it. So I want to show you how to do that. We're not going to decorate the whole thing today, but I'm going to show you the mechanics of making that so you can use this binding fold and the pop-up um, inside for yourself. So this starts with a half of sheet of cardstock, okay, but it's cut on the eight and a half inch side in half. So it's four and a quarter by 11. So then you're going to score it at five and a half, which is in half, all right? But then you're gonna score it also at four and a quarter because we want this four and a quarter square piece because the pop-up detail works best on a square card. Now you could use that pop-up detail on other cards. It doesn't have to be a binding fold card but it would uh, work best on a square card. So if you used it on a different card, you just have to cut your card stock to be square. So once we have um, that done, we can take our adhesive, snail, Tombow, whatever, and then we're just gonna glue this down. Just that strip there. Fold it in half. And that way our card is essentially a square card, but it just has that fun little binding fold, which you can decorate. Okay, so now we need to work on the inside. Let me grab a piece of designer series paper. Sorry, I had a piece out um, earlier and I did a video and my slow motion got turned on during my video. It was the funniest thing. So um, I'm starting over, but I have to grab another piece of designer series paper and maybe I'll do a bloopers reel with that slow-mo. It was hilarious. Okay, so, oh no. So here is our piece of designer series paper and I chose this print. It doesn't go with our card that we have as a sample, but it is, um, the sides are very di different so you can see what I'm doing better. Okay, so um, we don't have to cut this at all. That pop-up detail in our card is actually a full six by six sheet of designer series paper. All we have to do is fold it to get it to fit in there. So we have to determine first what side of the paper we want to show when we open the card. So on, on this um, print, we have these flowers that could really go anyway. You wouldn't want them upside down necessarily, but they look fine diagonal, which is what we're looking for. Now on the other side, we have pineapples. And the pineapples won't look very good diagonal because, you know, they'll all be laying on their sides. So we want that to be our back, and we want this to be what people see when they open up the cards. So we start with the paper, um, with the side that we want showing facing up. And you're going to um, fold this just in half, like so. Use your bone folder. Okay, open that up and fold it in half the other way. That's easy. This fold is really very simple. 
um, this card is pretty simple to make and it is such a nice surprise when you open it up. So it's good that it's easy. It's something like a wow card, but an easy wow card. So once you have those two folds in half this way, in half this way, then you're going to turn it over. So the side that will be facing up is actually upside down. And you're gonna make one fold with that facing down and it's going to be in half diagonally. So line those points up and then use your bone folder to score that. Okay, now we'll turn it back over. And since we have that diagonal fold, you see how I just push that down in the middle? Um, that's gonna allow our card to fold up just like we want it to because that's how it is in our card. It's like that. Okay, we, now we have to glue it in and you're only gonna put glue in two places. You're gonna put it on this top part, secondly, but first you're gonna put it on this bottom piece and that's the only thing that's glued because we still want it to open up. Okay, so let me pull our card in here and you see this is gonna fit like this. Now I would use Tombow for this part because you have to line these um, points up right on the edge of the card. Okay, because it's a tight fit. And if you use stamp and seal and you get it off, it might be harder to move around and to nudge into place, which we can do. We have some wiggle room with Tombow. So I'm going to put some Tombow on my bottom piece there. And then I'm gonna make sure that open side is facing out. And I'm gonna place this centered on my card. Make sure those edges are, those points are right to the edge. And you can move it over, up, down, whatever you need to. And press that down, okay. And so the next thing you're going to do is just add glue to this piece. And then you're just going to close the card to adhere that down. Okay, and then when you open the card up, magically we have that pop-up window. And so you won't be, de you could decorate, I guess if you cut your squares in half and, uh, but that would cover up a lot of your DSP. So on our sample, I'll go back to it. What we decorated were the two flat squares. And, um, you know, we just put a little detail over here and a sentiment over here. You could just stamp a sentiment over here and write your greeting on this side, however you want to do that. But um, that's how you make that binding fold card with that pop-up designer series paper. It's very easy to do. Of course, you could use 12 by 12 paper that you just cut down, but you know, a lot of our paper comes in six by six sheets and that's a pretty way to use it and to create a, an easy but wow card. So that's what I have for you today. Of course, you just decorate the front however you want and I'll pull our card that we had in there. Um, I used a um, layer of cardstock that would be a card front layer and I embossed the whole thing. And then you can see I just cut that and put part of it here and part of it here so that that would sort of um, enhance that binding fold that I have on my card. You could do that with designer series paper or other cardstock. You could put ribbon here. That would be pretty too. So there is our binding fold card with the pop-up designer series paper. If you have questions, you can contact me, Joanne, at the Rock Paper Scissors Studio. I look forward to stamping with you very soon.